The SciTech Advanced Travel Chess Computer was released in 2003, the Novak Star Opal in 2005, and the Millennium Chess Genius Pro in 2021. So here is the SciTech Advanced Travel Chess Computer. This is a cover. You can just take that off. And these are the micro pieces, tiny pieces. At the bottom, this is where you can insert three AAA batteries. Let me show you. Duracell is the best for me. And with this cover, what we can do is just insert it on the back. These are the pieces. They don't fall off because they are stuck with a rubber membrane underneath. Each piece has a pin under it. Let me just focus that. So each piece has a pin under it. And what this helps it do is help it stick on because there's a rubber part inside. Let me show you the buttons. So to turn it on, you just press go and it will turn on. We can confirm the pieces by pressing these. So, king, white, white king on e1. If you press it again, black king on e8. Each square has a mark on it. D3, D, E3, F3, and so on. So to clear, just press this. If I want to start, well, well, now we can start a new game. So we just push down like that and play. Now it's telling me I got to put this down. So E7, E7, E6. When you move the pieces, all you got to do is just push down and move to where you want to go. It's pressure sensor. So it's not auto sensory. G8 to F6. There we go. This is very portable because I can just carry it in my pocket. Pieces won't fall out as I mentioned before. And we can simply turn it off by pressing this button again, the go stop button, and it's off. Then when I want to go, let's take this off and hover on and it's good to go. Now if I want to start a new game, all you have to do is just double press, press this, clear and enter, and it will reset. So it still remembers the previous game. Now if I just want to clear and start a new game, it's reset. Levels are here. If you want to adjust the levels, just push this button and you can adjust the levels like so. Use white and black to adjust your levels. Press level again and you have different options. Fun. Finish, play. Play two moves, check, okay. All right. Now moving on to the Novag Star Opal. There it is. These are the buttons. And to play a game, first you take the pieces out of this compartment. Isn't that nice? We can keep our small pieces in this small storage box anytime, anywhere. Now, just put the pieces on. There we are. Now the pieces are set up. And to turn it on, you just flick, you just flick this switch. Lights are on, indicating it's white to move. 
The pieces are magnetic. They do stick. Let me just show you. So if I move and rotate this board, it's upside down, pieces don't fall off. They may still fall off if you do shake it. So, but it's quite resistant to minor moves and rotate rotations. Got to press new game. So it's C7 now. There is, there are beeps. Just gotta toggle the sound on. If you don't want that, you just toggle this sound button again. You can also use your finger to push the butt, push the squares down. I'll show you. So I'm castling. Okay. G8. Now six for the night. And to adjust your levels, you can just press the level button and you can adjust your levels like so. So on the A row, these are the, these are um, the usual levels for this board. So you've got A, A2 to A8. A8 is the most difficult part. I usually play, play on A4 or A3. There are other kinds of modes there is a chart to check for these levels to know what modes there are. Like there are fun levels and tournament levels. Um, so yeah, but I usually just play on the A levels. And to start a new game, you just push this new, bu new game button and it will reset. And you gotta put the pieces back and you can continue one from here. If you do turn it off, it'll remember your previous game and you can confirm the pieces again by pushing these buttons. So that's the Novag Star Opal. So I'll demonstrate how this game, how this chessboard performs. Push the pieces down, you'll hear a slight beep. And you'll have to look at the screen each time. For me, I think I prefer the Novag Star Opal then everyone has a different opinion, so. What I like about the Novag Star Opal is its form factor and its high portability, being able to actually store the pieces inside a compartment. So for this chessboard, it also has a compartment, but I wanna show you something. So let me take the pieces off first and I'll show you how it's how it actually stores its piece. So how are you able to do that with this board? So the board is upside down. Let me just remind you that this board takes double A batteries. Three double A batteries. So to store the pieces, there's a small compartment here, but it just doesn't work because of the actual size of this compartment. So I don't really get it, but let's have a look. They don't fit at all. So why? Why did they design it like this? So if these pieces don't fit, What's the use of actually having a compartment here then? Is this for something else? Where am I supposed to store these pieces on the go? So I need to carry a separate bag, a sack, 
just to keep these pieces wherever I'm at, wherever I am. Right, anyway. I'll just show you how, what functions there are on this board, the features it has. As I said, the 2024 model has an improved screen. This has a backlit um, light. It's kind of using like an old school LCD. You can toggle the light on and off. And you have info menu. You can adjust the levels. Um, find the next best. You can ask it to find best moves for you. There's clock. Analysis options. Setup. Level. Okay, and start a new game, you just press the new button. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I want to start a new game. Just press enter, and then you start a new game. So, that's the Chess Genius Pro, with a tiny compartment. It was an honor to have you watch my video. I'll leave links to details about the Novak Star Opal and SciTech Advanced Travel Chess Computer in the description. Feel free to comment on my channel. I am highly active in responding to comments. I will do my best to present chess or non-chess related content in the future with a dose of inspiration. Until then, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.